Okay, so this is my kitchen. This is the wall I'm talking about that has, sorry. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to me. I have here um, our dinner for Mother's Day. Yes, this will go up a lot later after Mother's Day, but this is what's going on right now. So this is the big, huge, ginormous wall that I was like, you know what? I want to do something with this wall. This outside window right here um, where my peace lily is, I'm not gonna show you like a whole bunch of it. It's just a mess right now. But I was like, I've gotta do something with this wall. So I'll probably do medium to low light plants all over this wall. Now, as you will see, in the coming videos after this clip I am going to show you I'm putting one of the boards the two by fours that I painted white right here in this corner and then I'm gonna do the a third or a second one right in the middle and then the third one right down on the other end now because I'm doing that there's a reason it all makes sense when it's all <laughs> said and done I have let me grab them real quick. I'm grabbing it out of my pantry to the side. I'm not gonna, you guys have seen it in other videos, my horrible, nasty, non-organized kitchen pantry. So this is a burlap bag. I'm gonna see if I can do this one-handed. It's this huge, oh, uh, I'm probably shaking you guys everywhere. This huge burlap bag. I am going to have some plywood that I'm putting this on. I'm about the same size and then I'm gonna do about two to three inches of foam. I don't know what it's going to take, either gluing the foam to the plywood or stapling it, I don't know, but I'm going to put the foam on and then I'm gonna lay these over it and then staple them to the plywood and I will show you how I do that. I'm not there yet, but I'm going, I have two of these and I'm going to put one between the wood, like the one two by four that I'm having here. I'm putting one right there and then I'm gonna put the second one right over there. And then I have my tile mirrors that, I call them tile mirrors, which they're not. They're like a framed mirror that I painted white. Two on this side, two on this side, and then I'm going to have a whole bunch of like ceiling hooks and all kinds of hooks or shelving that I'm going to try to do and doing my plants and hanging and just rearranging everything. Because right now I'm not happy with how my plants are. They're just obviously in front of the window, disorganized, don't mind the messy kitchen, that right there. I just, I'm getting tired of having plants just scattered, if you know what I mean. So that is what the plan is for my wall and you will see the progression, and you will see it all come together, and then hopefully it won't take too long, and I will be doing a tour. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy. What's
Hey guys, so sorry if you can't see me very well. I actually turned my camera setting around. So I have a broken lens or a broken camera um, where the glass part is, you know what I'm talking about? So I look like a ham right now. <laughs> I wanted to give you an update of um, what I'm doing back here in my backyard. I am painting. I spray painted, so I'm gonna turn you around so you can see this. I hope you can see it. So right here I have all of the paint, the boards that I am working on to put inside of my kitchen wall. And I had decided I did two coats of spray paint on these boards and I felt like it wasn't enough and it didn't cover up fully like the just the plain um, wood and I wanted something with more of a brightness kind of a stark white and so I ended up purchasing I hope you can see it because I can't see what I'm doing I ended up purchasing just a flat white paint from Lowe's and so I just got Valspar a small thing of it and this is gonna last me forever I have some other items that I'm going to be painting as well so this is my update and this is so far what I'm working on don't mind the mess in the background we're still fixing up our backyard already to be continued hey guys, <laughs> I accidentally did not show you what I was doing so you will see these tile mirrors, or like these, not tile mirrors, but they're like these tile shapes. Um, I got this actually from Ikea. Now, let me get the, I know the lighting is horrible. It's really bright out right now. So yes, I know that my mirror, I painted all over it, but I'm going to take a um, box cutter or a straight blade and I'm going to scrape all of that paint off. Or I was thinking maybe I'll do a picture of my son and daughter in these um, little square mirror areas as a picture frame. I don't know yet. See, that's how it used to look. That was a plain wood, untreated mirror for little decorations. They were super, super popular um, at Ikea years ago, about 13 years ago, 14 years ago, maybe even longer. Actually, I do think it was young longer than that but me and my husband got these at ikea i don't even know if they sell these anymore but those are old 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 and i didn't know what to do with them they have been in a closet with all my extra stuff that i had not been using and i was like well I have the brilliant idea of using this for my wall that i am making on or in my kitchen i should say so a little bit of decorations Hey guys, sorry, it's gonna sound kind of echoey in here. This is my kitchen. So I showed you in my last video when I did the unboxing of my Mikan's, my philodendron, I showed you a little bit of this wall right here. And my husband, now I'm going to put, obviously, some wood putty over these spots where we thought we hit the wall, the stud in the wall and we missed it. Our house is pretty jacked up. We bought this home, has a lot of things, a little quirkiness to it, like me. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you, I have, this is right smack in the middle of my wall. I have another two by four over there, and then I have one right over here as well. I also painted these little tile mirrors. You saw that in the beginning of this clip. Before I put this up, I wanted to ask your opinion. I have these, I have four of them, all over here. Should I have them like this? I hope you can see this. I have my camera tilted up so you can see maybe the top of this. Do you guys like it better like this? And then have all four of them running down like this, I'm putting a, I'm, <laughs> can you tell this is my first time on cam or doing this? Um, having them kind of like this 
and running down like that? Or do you like it better squares like this and then spacing them apart down this wall? Please let me know. I would love the opinions. I want to see what rules, what people think. And then I also have these coffee bags that I explained what I was doing. I'm going to make these kind of like a big, not canvas picture, but I'm going to put these on plywood and put about two inches of foam on the plywood. And then I'm going to take these and staple these around the plywood to make it like a big fluffy picture. These are just old coffee burlap bags. And then I'm going to put them on these walls. Now the point of making this wall is for my plants. So I was thinking also of painting some more two by fours, kind of doing a built-in shelving, but not really a built-in, or putting these two by fours laying this way across so that I can hang plants from those two by fours. Or I also like those, they're kind of like wall sconces, but they're for your plants where you put them in the wall and then you can set like terracotta pots in them and then use the trailing plants or devil's ivy, some sort of philodendrons that can come out of that. And it looks like your plants like floating on the wall. looks really cool. That I also have some benches that I'm redoing that I want to put against the wall where I can set down some plants or just pull out the bench where people can sit. I don't know. I'm kind of having all these thoughts running through my head, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, but I'm basically trying to make my home a jungle. <laughs> I love jungle plants. I love tropical, but I want to make it so my plants have a happy, my bird is talking, a happy homes for all my plants, but yet they will be up out of the way. I have them scattered everywhere right now and I just wanna give them a permanent place for now. And this is why I'm doing that. I have tons of projects I'm doing. I have another one going on in my living room, but that is this is kind of just the update of what I've been up to. Instead of doing an unboxing, I wanted to give you something different, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I love to hear your comments, your opinions. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you like this, give a thumbs up. I love you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And I will be just giving you updates what's going on with my project.